northeast seaboard, you've probably had trees damaged by the winter moth caterpillar. Trees like oak, maple, birch, uh, beech and ash, ornamental trees like my cherry tree, uh, they can become defoliated by this caterpillar. The, the caterpillar looks like an inchworm. It's about an inch long, it's light green in color, and has white longitudinal stripes down on both sides of it. And what happens is they'll feed on your trees from up until mid-June, until which time they migrate down into the soil, go through a life cycle change and come out as a moth, repeat the cycle all over again. The decision to, to treat your trees, it's up to you. There's other ways to do things non-chemical, like tree banding and, and just trying to let the tree regenerate itself and go through some new growth. Oftentimes, just giving the tree water can help do that. If you do decide to chemical treat like we did, I went with a two-prong approach. I went with a spray application and I went with a soil application. The spray application uses 0.5% spinosad, and it's a chemical that's fairly safe to use, and it goes right onto the tree, and you spray it on with an applicator and a hose. And the, the hose is the propellant, and it evenly and automatically mixes the solution, and you apply it right onto the tree and leaves. Kills the caterpillars instantly, which is the pro. The con is it can wash off with rain. The soil application you, you de depending on the size of your tree and the circumference of your tree trunk, and you figure that out by using a, uh, you can use a string, a rope, or I used a piece of paper, wrap it around the tree trunk to get your diameter. Figure out, according to the manufacturer recommendations, how to mix that, because it comes in a solution that you have to mix with water per gallons. And then you basically apply that in a, a circular circumference around the tree trunk, and you work out from the trunk two feet on a small tree. And the beauty of that is that the, the insecticide goes through the roots of the, tr of the tree and up through the tree. It protects the tree, especially on new growth. So if, if the tree is putting out that second growth, it's going to protect that second growth. If you're applying it before an infestation comes or before they, the caterpillars arrive, it's going to protect the tree. So the, light, the thing I like about that is it can't be washed away and it's in the tree. There are some pros and cons to using these things, especially with bees and some other things, so make sure you read the article in Concord Carpenter on all of the information, and obviously make sure you follow your manufacturer's recommendations. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time.